talk about dashing through the dandy, right? December 6th next year. This year, we're already in 2019. <laughs> okay, so um, when in doubt, travel. This is our ship, the A, that we're gonna be sailing on. This is also the A. We travel not to escape life, but for life not to escape us. I like to fo focus on not your fly and flop holidays, but I call it stop and stop, where you're actually immersing yourself in a destination. You're the bread and the destination is the sauce. And this is someone uh, riding through Vienna. Anyone done a horse, uh, back, a horse and carriage ride through Vienna yet? Okay, things to, to look forward to. You've done it, isn't it fantastic? This is also a picture on you by Uniworld. Uh, so the whole idea of fly and flop, you want to experience where you're going. And this whole generational trend towards movement and authentic travel, and that's one of the things we'll be talking about. The world is vast, go explore, right? And this is a picture of a, a famous ice cream spot in Budapest. Do you see how this is a rose? They make it there in front of you, it's just incredible some of the wonderful local touches that we can experience. You can't buy happiness, but you can't buy a plane ticket. That's kind of the same thing to me. And you, we're gonna talk about going skating in front of a castle. So I, these are some pictures of uh, when I did a river cruise last summer. I was in Bratislava, which we're gonna visit. I was in Passau, which we're also gonna visit. Anyone been to Passau, where the three rivers meet? You see the three colors as they actually come together? It's really incredible. And that's where I come in. Uh, that was about, there's so much information, how to step through it, reasons to work with a travel advisor. This is me in Vienna. Anyone else been to Strauss Park? Terrific. Three main reasons. Reduce your risk and stress, add value and convenience, and transform the whole experience from good to great. Uh, personalized planning, peace of mind, advice and accountability. Show and room palace, anyone? Yes? Am I blocking? Okay, so I used to be an actuary. I say I traded my briefcase for a suitcase. I did uh, financial analysis of risk for 20 years. Traveled all the time. Uh, discovered that leisure travel was really what gave me peace, not business travel. Uh, and I decided to leverage my business skills to help people travel the world, and I've been doing this for over 13 years now. So I say as an actuary, I did return on investment, and now I do return on life. Uh, in a river cruise, you relax in a moving hotel room, you settle into your stateroom and unpack once, as Lynn Spence was saying. That's what's magical about seeing Europe that way, right? You don't have to do the train rides. You have planned safety, planned activities, safety briefings, most of your food and entertainment on board is included. Similar amenities, uh, access to internet and Wi-Fi, access to onboard, and some sort of fitness. That's what rivers and oceans will have that. But on river, like I said, the river is a river versus an ocean, but you're not going to be able to go to uh, Venice on a river cruise, except for Uniworld, right, Michelle? Uh, Uniworld does the Po River and starts in the Venice Lagoon, but otherwise Venice is an ocean cruise itinerary. And the world was developed along navigable rivers, and they were the main source of commerce. So the main thing about river cruise is that you're actually in the heart of Europe. You're where you want to be. It's not like an ocean cruise where you take, if you go into Rome, you have to get on a bus for an hour and a half to go into Rome. On a river cruise, you walk on the ship and you're there. And the biggest difference, of course, is where you visit. You can't go to Vienna on an ocean cruise. You can only go to Vienna on a river cruise. You can't go to Budapest. You gotta, you gotta do all these on a river. And that's the wonderful thing about the itinerary uh, Marlene and her team have selected to do. Another thing, value uh, and convenience, global access. Uh, I'm Lush Schleif, I work with Vision, we're part of Virtuoso. Vision, for those of you who don't know, is Canada's largest travel agency. They've amalgamated with direct travel in the States. They do $675 million in travel a year. Doesn't mean much to you, except you know that we get special deals, special relationships, special access to things, and I have partners like Michelle, who would come from, she'd been how many places last week? I don't know. <laughs> Too many to count. She's heading back to uh, New York uh, next week, but 
It's because of the relationship I have with Vision that I could get the <coughs> job coming here tonight, which is fantastic. Virtuoso does $15 billion a year, and we work with the best and the best. Certainly, Uniworld is one of the best river cruise companies, and I work with other partners like National Geographic, Back Roads, all of those active travel. But I also work with some terrific four and, four and a half stars, such as you by Uniworld, which is a cool new little sister of Uniworld, the parent company. Global Expertise, just some of the partners I work with. Uh, and the third, transfer the whole experience from good to great. So this is up on top of the ship, on the uh, loft, the deck uh, of the eight, and we're going to go see the Christmas market. Transform from good to great, just a step uh, at an example of a virtuoso. I have a client who went to Germany, small town, doing uh, research on her family history. There were no tour guides in this small town. Because of my connection with Virtuoso, we actually got the mayor to tour her around the small town. <laughs> uh, another example, Elaine Stritch here on the bottom. If you know Elaine Stritch from Broadway, I have a client whose daughter is very much into Broadway. Elaine used to live in the Carlisle Hotel in New York City. When her client, when her daughter went to visit, we actually could tour the place that she used to live. Virtuoso Voyages. We work with uh, Uniworld with that, and special publications. Adventure travel is big, You by Uniworld is big, and wellness, we'll hear about that in a moment. All these publications, if you would like to get any digital or real copies, hard copies, let me know. So I'm Lush Life, I'm part of Vision, and we're all part of Virtuoso. All that means to you is that I can leverage the strength and stability of these partners, get you special access to offers you can't get on your own. And if there are ever any issues when you're traveling, it's not just Sheila from Lush Life calling, it's Sheila from Lush, part of Vision, part of Virtuoso, so everybody has a vested interest to solve the problem as quickly as possible. Does anyone here have seen the movie Woman in Gold? Yeah. Yeah? I think Colleen, we were yeah. talking about it. It's, it's a little hard subject matter because it's about our repatriation after the Holocaust but it is set in Vienna, and it visits a lot of the sites we're going to see, uh, and certainly it, it visits the Hotel Soccer, and it also shows the Belvedere in Vienna, lots of wonderful uh, sites, so if you want to get a sense of Vienna, please watch that movie. It's Helen Mir Mirren as well, so she's fantastic. Helen Mirren, Ryan Reynolds, yeah. true story, that's right. So, let's go dashing through the Danube. We've met uh, two of the hosts here tonight. We met Ben Spence uh, via video. We've met Kathy Smart via her chocolate. And now I'm going to turn it over to Michelle Coleman. Michelle is a VP of Field Sales for North America. She was in Charlotte, Chicago, Baltimore, Baltimore last week. And, and as I said, going to New York. Coming today. Yeah. And she's here today. Thank you very much for coming. She's been in the industry almost 30 years and in charge of uh, my vice president that I work with, with Uniworld. So I'm very thrilled that she could come out tonight to support us. So thank you very much. My pleasure. I don't know if my presentation is queued up, but I think we have some tech support here. Um, okay, good evening, ladies. I'm so excited to be here. Um, I've done presentations in many places, um, predominantly in North America, but a little bit in Europe as well. And I have to say, this is the first. I have never, ever, never have I ever, um, done a presentation in a fabulous boutique like this. And I was here for the fashion show, and I'm definitely doing some shopping later. So um, it's lovely to meet all of you and be with such incredible uh, group of women. Uh, I've had the pleasure of knowing Sheila now for uh, many years and she's an absolute consummate professional. Her attention to detail, her passion comes through in everything that she does. So please uh, know that you are in the best of hands when working with uh, Sheila, if you haven't had the pleasure of um, booking your travel and uh, adventures with her yet. Hopefully you will tonight, um, if not in the near future. Um, it's become so successful, this group, that it's outsold itself already. Um, it started off as a small group and it's been growing exponentially over the past um, <coughs> two weeks. Uh, in a matter of days, in one week, 
Um, it's been incredible. We actually had to pull all the inventory off of the ship for anybody else to book into um, in anticipation for uh, the excitement that has been building. Um, and I think it's largely due to all of Sheila's efforts and this incredible group of dynamic, incredibly successful women um, who have gotten behind this. And as you saw from Lynn's video and, and the ladies here at the boutique and everyone that's involved. I'm, I'm getting excited. I think I, if there's any space left, I think I'm going to have to go myself. It sounds amazing. And there's nothing better than, you know, women with other women empowering each other and, um, you know, learning about more fashion and beauty and nutrition and health and wellness and everything that we can do to make ourselves better every single day. So I'm really happy to be here. Uh, I've had the pleasure of working for Uniworld now for nine years. And I say every day I have the best job in the world. And people say, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. But by the time I'm dying, I'll be like, yeah, you do. Um, I get to uh, meet incredible people, uh, many of which uh, Uniworld is our core brand. So we have uh, 17 ships in Europe with Uniworld. So it's a split brochure that flips back and forth. So I'll just touch briefly on Uniworld, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Um, but Uniworld is our truly five-star luxury, all-inclusive river cruise brand. And when it comes to the river cruise segment, we are at the top. We think of us as like the you know, the, the Four Seasons, the Waldorf Astoria, and so on. Um, and so we've been in the business for over 40 years. We are family owned and operated. Uh, we are part of the Travel Corporation family of brands. So if any of you have maybe traveled with Insight or Trafalgar Tours, um, Red Carnation Hotels, maybe in our youth, maybe a Kentucky Tour, because um, they've been around for many years as well. Kentucky caters to the 18 to 35 age group. Um, so you might already be familiar with some of our family of brands, but it is privately owned by one family. Um, and they are very passionate and, and committed to service and excellence. So I'm very, very proud to, um, to work for this company. I've been on 11 river cruises since I joined the company, uh, including some multi-generational sailings. I have, um, I'm based in Toronto, but I have two boys who are 13 and 15, and we've done two multi-generational sailings. I remember them saying to me the first time, Mommy, is it filled with like older people? <laughs> like, no, there's going to be lots of young kids your age. And we did the Paris and Normandy itinerary two years ago, and we got on the ship, and the Paris and Normandy itinerary is particularly popular with older clients because you visit the beaches of Normandy. And we got on board, and none of the other families had boarded yet, and there was quite a few elderly guests on board, so we walked into the lounge, and I think I had a little mutiny on my hands, because they're like, you lied to us. I don't see any families. I'm like, don't worry, the kids are coming. Uh, but they absolutely loved it. And, uh, so you know, we do multi-generational sailings as well. But the purpose of our, our presentation today is to talk to you about New by New World. So this is a new, innovative um, <coughs> brand that we launched last year. And initially when we came up with this concept, we, we thought, you know what? People want to do river cruising of all different interests and activity levels. Let's find something for what we call the young and the young at heart. And that's where the concept, the, the idea came for you, you by New World. And so we took two of our ships, we stripped them down, we painted them a matte black on the exterior, and I have to tell you, it's caused quite a stir in the rivers. Because we're used to seeing these traditional river cruises going by, they're not used to this cool, modern, contemporary style ship sailing down the river. So people are coming in going, who is that? What is that ship? Um, so it's caused a lot of excitement, certainly, um, not only here in the North American market, but also over in Europe as well. And it is a very, very different product. Um, so anyways, we've taken a, a little bit of a different approach. So traditionally, I saw earlier that many of you have done uh, a, re a traditional river cruise, right? So you know how it works. You get up in the morning, you have your breakfast, you go off on your, your included excursion, you come back and you have lunch on board the ship, um, and then you have the rest of the afternoon to explore. You by you know is, is a little bit different. We said, you know what, not everybody wants to get up very early and get ready and rush off the ship and, and, and come back like that. So we start, we've changed it to have late morning starts. So there are no excursions going before 10 or 11 in the morning. We've had feedback from clients that say, you know what, I'm on vacation. I want to sleep in. I don't want to have to get up and run around and get myself fabulous and, and go off on these excursions. So we've changed it. And we said, you know what, no early morning starts. Nothing goes before 10 or 11. And then we have the early birds that say, well, I still get up early. Early. What do I do? Don't worry, we have breakfast for you too. Uh, so there's the early risers breakfast, and then we have brunch every single day. And brunch is one of the meals that is included on you by Uniworld. And then we see, you know, we talked to our, our clients and we said, what else would you like us to do differently? And they said, you know what, I don't want to come back to the ship and have lunch. I want to immerse myself in the culture. I want to immerse myself in the destination. I want to eat local. I want to experience the incredible cuisine in each of the different cities and villages and towns that we visit along the way, because that's why we travel. Right? We want to experience the culture. We want to eat the local food. We want to mingle with the locals, whether it's a market, whether it's a restaurant, 
restaurant, whether it's street, you know, street food, whatever your personal preference is. So we've changed that as well. And then what happens is, is everybody comes back on the ship in the afternoon, and then we have dinner together. Okay, and we'll talk about that in, the, in a few minutes as well. The other thing that we've done differently with you by Unibold is, is we do more overnights in port. Who's in for a little bit of nightlife? Right? There's no going to the lounge, it's with a traditional river cruise, you know, after dinner, everybody kind of segues into the lounge and you have George on the piano or, you know, you have someone, you know, local entertainment that we bring in. But a lot of people say, you know, I want to get back off the ship. I want to see Budapest that night. I want to see Vienna in the evening when the, you know, the city's all lit up before me and go out for a coffee or have a cocktail or a nightcap or whatever. So that's another thing that we're doing differently with you by Uber. It's a little bit more nightlife. Um, another thing that's very different about you by Uniworld is um, we don't have a traditional cruise director. We have you hosts. And what the you hosts do is they're responsible for making sure that you have something exciting to do every minute. So you can go up to them and say, you know, I heard about this great cafe that I read about online, and I'd like to, you know, can you give me directions on how to get there? Or they'll lead you on a coffee house tour, or a pub crawl, or just, you know, walking the streets of, of Vienna and Budapest and, and incredible cities like this at nighttime. Because a lot of people don't feel as comfortable going out during the evening, especially if there's only one or two of you at a time, or a small group. You say, you know, I wouldn't mind if I had somebody with me to show me around. Thank you. Um, and then, of course, the absolute best service. That is one thing that is a hallmark of um, for you, you by Uniworld and Uniworld is our commitment to service. Our service philosophy on board is very simple. It's no request too small, no detail too large. It's about spoiling you. It's about pampering you. It's about doing everything we can do as you know as humanly possible to make sure that you have the most incredible holiday ever. Um, as Sheila talked about, you know, the beauty of river cruising is, is that you're docked right in the heart of the cities and the towns that we, built, that we visit along the way. You know, when you go onto a big cruise ship, people say, well, I went to, I went to Rome. You went to Chittabekia, which was about a five-hour transfer from Rome, right? You had to get on the bus like cattle, and you had to go into Rome, and then you had to be back by a certain time. With river cruising, it's not like that, right? It's very small, it's very intimate. You're docked right there. You're walking off and on the ship at your leisure. And you don't have to put all your stuff on the x-ray machine to go through security if you want it. If you pick up a beautiful bottle of wine and you say, you know what, I, I, I'd like to bring this back on board, guess what? You can. We do not confiscate liquor. We do not charge you to open your fabulous bottles of wine or, or champagne or whatever you pick up along your travel. So it's a little bit more civilized, I like to say. Okay, now we'll take a minute to talk about our ships. So we like to say our ships are part boutique hotel, part yacht, and part local hotspot. So we've completely turned the decor um, and design upside down as well. We've made them very modern, very contemporary. Does anybody watch The Bachelor? Yeah, a few, okay, me neither. But we, we did a segment on The Bachelor last year, and I just sent an email out to all of our clients to say, we're so excited, you know, our ship is going to be debuting on The Bachelor before it even sailed and was introduced to the general public. And I had so many of my clients that emailed back and said, shh, don't tell anybody I have The Bachelor. So I was all excited, and I sat, you know, I had some friends over, and we had wine and everything, we're so excited to see our ship. And I swear they showed like barely any of it. <laughs> they did this intro at the beginning. They showed you know a few of the different states and suite room, or suites and state rooms. Um, and then that was it. And then they had these pathetic women just sitting in the in the, the, the lounge. And they always had blankets on. And I said, do we have the air conditioning on super dry? Why is everyone wearing blankets in every segment? So um, it was a bit of a duck. But anyway, the ships are absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I'll show you some photos as well. So here we have the A, and this is the ship that you're going to be sailing on as part of this incredible women's group travel. And this is the lobby, so the minute you step on board, you know this is not your traditional river cruise, right? It's very uh, minimalist, very contemporary. We've got, you know, the pop art, we've got the funky cocoon chairs. I wish this was higher if anybody can see. Um, so it's very, very different. A little bit of neon scattered here and there. And then we also have the main lounge. So this is where a lot of you are going to be spending time. Uh, we have incredible bartenders on board. We have mixology classes that you can participate in. But yeah, I understand that we're going to be doing different presentations. 
and workshops and seminars throughout your, your one week cruise. So you'll have an opportunity to attend different presentations, be it on fashion, beauty, fitness, well-being, uh, dressing for your body type. There's a whole um, array of incredible presentations planned. So this is where you'll be coming to do that. You see it's very bright and open and airy. Um, here we have the rooftop area. Now, these are photos obviously taken in the summer, so it's going to be a little bit different when you go in the dead of winter. Um, but we do have um, what we call the ice bar. And this is an enclosed area. We traditionally, in the, in the warmer months, we use this for sun and disco. Has anyone here done sun and disco yet? Okay. So, you know, you might want to do it, you might not. It's optional. Um, it's where everybody gets headsets. And there's different uh, songs that play, and according to the color on the outside of the headset, that's the song that you're listening to. So you walk in and it's dead quiet, and everybody kind of looks like Elaine from Seinfeld because they're dancing. <laughs> <laughs> they're dancing so they look really spazzy. Um, but then you can see what color is on their on their um, earphones, and then you can switch to that color and dance along with them. But what's really nice about it is you can take them off and you can actually have a conversation without yelling at each other. So that's kind of the cool part about sign and disco. So that's just one of the things that we do up there. We have, um, as I mentioned, we do mixology classes as well, so you can learn how to make some new cocktails, which is always fun with some cute bartenders. Um, this is the dining room on board the ship. And what's really unique about this is that um, it's all about shared dining. It's not about tables for two and tables for four. We have a lot of big, long communal tables, and it's about communal dining. So a lot of the dishes are shared dishes, which a lot of our customers said they wanted. They didn't want so much formality as ordering, you know, a starter, an appetizer, a soup, a this, a that. So it's a lot more um, interactive, shall we say. It's a lot, of, uh, a lot more about shared dining. And then the next photo you'll see here, because everybody needs to stay connected. We have to be posting on social media and make sure our devices are charged for our next, you know, uh, hop off the ship to take amazing photos and videos to share with all of our friends and family. So we have these pop-up uh, power bars that pop up from the middle of the table so you can recharge during your meal times. Oh. Right? Um, we're also completely paperless on board the ship. Um, it's part of our commitment to sustainability, so all of the menus are on display on the flat screens throughout the dining area. Another thing that's very unique when I talk about our sustainability, we'll talk about it later being paperless, is um, we don't have a printed cruise uh, guide every single day. I know we're talking about doing something special specifically for your group to talk about different activities that are going on, but generally speaking on the ship, we do not print an actual cruise uh, um, schedule or program, thank you, uh, every single day. Um, you download WhatsApp. Does anybody here use WhatsApp? Yeah. 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 Oh, see, you already have it. Okay, so you, you just use WhatsApp to communicate um, with the, the new host on board, um, as well as Sheila and the team on board. So here what we'll start to do is take a look at some of the different categories of staterooms and suites that we have on board. Uh, this is one of our studio accommodations, so you've got the flat screen TV here. We have lots of complimentary movies, you've got uh, television from various um, uh, stations across Europe. We also have uh, a camera at the front of the ship so you can see where the ship is sailing at all times, which is nice. Uh, we used to have one, I used to call it lounge vision. So there used to be a camera right behind the main bar that, that showed the whole um, lounge area. So at night you could go back to your room and, and you could see people drinking, dancing, having a lot of fun. Um, but sometimes if you woke up a little bit later, you still saw people then, they'd be like, who is that? Um, so I said, we have to stop this lounge vision. It's not good. It's what stays in the lounge stays in the lounge. What stays in the lounge stays in the lounge. It should stay there. People shouldn't be watching from their, their staterooms. Um, so here at all of our um, all of our staterooms, regardless of the category, have uh, beautiful marble bathrooms uh, that are floor to ceiling marble. They're stocked with Be Kind. They're organic um, products. So you can, you know, we have the body washes, the shampoos, the conditioners, and, and the lotions and so on. So all of that is provided. Here we have one of our French balcony accommodations. So very similar in terms of the configuration. Another thing I love, lots of hangers. Lots and lots of hangers for pants. I don't know if we have enough for everything that she fit in that suitcase, but I was really impressed. I travel a lot for my job, and I have to say, I was like, you're gonna get all of that in there? That's really good. But I had two tips for her as well, right? Didn't I? I had two things. Sorry, that she didn't even know. So I said, one of them is, is you know the plastic that you get from the dry cleaner? That's your best friend. It really prevents your clothes from wrinkling. So if you put your stuff inside there and then put it inside, I can guarantee you'll take it out. And if it's a cotton that's traditionally more wrinkly, um, it will be absolutely beautiful. Uh, what was my other one? <coughs> 
Yeah. Oh, the Downy, yeah. So if ever you go to the US, they have the Downy Wrinkle Relief Spray. It works like a charm. So I highly recommend that as well, for sure. Oh, and the self tan cream. I live by it because I'm pale like a vampire at this time of year. Um, and you think I look pale now, I actually have it on. But anyway, um, <laughs> it's called Saint Tropez, and it's a tanning mousse. They sell it at um, uh, beauty boutiques, at the Shoppers Drug Mart, and Sephora as well. So I swear by it, it goes on, it doesn't streak, it looks very natural, and it's instant. You never get that orange streak in your plant. I just had to throw that in while I remember. Um, and then here we have uh, pictures of what our sweets look like. Um, of course, the sweets we have only a few of them, and they tend to be the first to sell up because everybody wants all the spaciousness of it. Um, but here you see I have a separate sitting area, you have an espresso machine, um, and a stocked mini bar and a mini fridge as well. Okay? But I have to tell you, if you're barely going to spend any time in your stateroom, uh, having done many of them, you're going to be out, you're going to be enjoying the lounge, you're going to be off the ship. You spend very little time in your stateroom. So I just want to emphasize that when you're, you know, looking at, uh, you know, how big the suite is. Don't, you know. Don't be sad because they might be sold out. There's, you know, you're not going to be spending much time. So here, here's my example of the floor to ceiling with the, the marble in the bathrooms. Um, so, yes. Oh, this, uh, maybe. Do we have any of these books, Sheila? I don't know. No, we have two and they're still available. Okay. <laughs> these might be the last to go. So these are our triple accommodations. Um, it's it's um, bunk beds <laughs> with a ladder. I don't think it's going to work for this group. Um, but <laughs> I think mean, anyone's interested in this category will kind of skip by. But what's cute is, is that um, it does have um, charging stations and there are flat screen TVs and believe it or not, a little bit of storage space uh, within each, um, each area. But we'll skip through this. Nobody wants that category. Um, we have full fitness center on board the ship as well. I know there's a few ladies that put their hands up saying that they like to stay active and exercise, which also brings me to our health and wellness um, philosophy on board all of our ships. So every single morning, you have the opportunity to participate in complimentary yoga classes. Uh, we have a, a wellness instructor that's on board that will lead these. We also have 50 bicycles on board, which we also painted black. So uh, the black bikes with the black ships. Um, and so you can hop on these complimentary bicycles at any time. Maybe we can organize some group biking tours, roads, you know, road conditions permitting. Um, but certainly that's an opportunity as well. Um, and I think we have some Nordic walking sticks. But certainly, um, you know, health and wellness is a big part of our strategy and philosophy on board all of our ships. And we have Kathy Smart coming and, and you know, the fitness guru. So there will be lots of opportunity if you wish. And she's, I think, offered to run some yoga classes as well. She's a certified yoga instructor. So absolutely, there will be lots of opportunities. <coughs> I just feel sorry for anybody else that's booked on the ship that's not part of this group, frankly. We might have to move them to another sailing. <laughs> Good, a little awkward. Um, so this is the uh, the rooftop, uh, obviously during the summer months. Um, you know, some of this furniture might change. The benching will still be there. But, you know, on a it's warm day, you can still go up there and, you know, enjoy the 365 degree views because that's what's really beautiful, too. People always, you know, have thought with big ship cruising, I need to have a balcony so I can sit outside. But to be honest with you, when it comes to river cruise, you want to be up on the roof, enjoying the 365 degree views as you're sailing down the river because it's a medieval town here and a castle over there and it's just it's so breathtaking it's so beautiful so um, hopefully we'll have good weather and you'll be up there as well um, so life on board I talked about sign and disc but we also do paint and wine who's in for paint and wine I love that idea <laughs> and the wine's included um, so you don't have to pay for your wine um, we have the rooftop lounge, uh, the mixology classes, and then as I mentioned, we have rooftop yoga and TRX. We have the TRX systems on board as well, so you can take advantage of those. It's a little bit different in terms of the, the life on board. It's much more geared to um, a more active, um, you know, fun <coughs> time. And then, um, oh, so food. We're all about farm to table, um, so it's always the freshness of those ingredients that we bring on board. Nothing's frozen, no frozen vegetables, no frozen fish. Our chefs get off the ship every single day. They go into the local markets and they source the local ingredients that we use in the preparation of the meals. We work with local farmers, we work with local uh, growers, and we get everything um, that comes uh, on board the ship locally. Um, all why limit it to happy hour? So all your water, tea, coffee is included, um, and then we have a drinks package that you can purchase as well. Okay. So what's included? 14 meals on board, a welcome party, you've got two dedicated you hosts. Um, every day there's uh, an included excursion, at least one, if not more. Uh, and then we also have our youth time optional excursions, which we're going to just quickly show on the screen, but then Sheila and I will be at the back here that for you to come in and ask any questions that you may have. Um, a local DJ will come on board, and then we have the Spirit of Christmas mixology classes. So you go home and wow all your friends and family with these fabulous themed drinks that you've learned for the holidays just in time. Um, as I mentioned, we do have the one included excursion every single day. 
Um, that could either be an uh, uh, AM or an evening, or sorry, PM, afternoon or an evening excursion. And then we have our U-term excursions. Again, we talk to clients and they said, you know what, I don't always want to do one of these as a group where, you know, 30 people go and get onto a coach and we go somewhere and then we all, you know, get off and experience it. I want to go and do it on my own or just with a few of my, my girlfriends. And so that's why we created the U-term excursion so that you can do that. And we give you your tickets and we give you your map and we give you all your info and you go off and do it on your own. Um, and it, it could be as active or as relaxing. We have wine, uh, wine tasting, cheese making, uh, rock climbing, um, not at that time of year. <laughs> but there's a wide variety of excursions that we offer as part of the new time uh, program as well. Cruise add-ons, as I mentioned, you can purchase a drink package. If anyone's bringing a spouse or a, a, a male companion, we have romance packages that you can purchase. And then we have a full service spa on board as well. So if you want to take advantage of a massage treatment or a facial or a mani-pedi, um, certainly that's available as well. Utah Highlight, these are just some of the um, excursions that we include. Here we have um, a classical evening for Vienna and Budapest, which um, we can talk about um, a little bit more afterwards. You have your two U hosts on every single sailing. Again, we've got young people that we use just because that's when the photography was done. Um, and it's also uh, about sustainability, right? As I mentioned, we're part of the Travel Corporation group of companies. Our CEO started um, the Troy Wright Foundation in 2004 um, because we are committed to giving back to the destinations in the countries that we visit. To date, we've done over 40 sustainable projects um, throughout the world, including purchasing a bat helicopter um, to catch poachers in Africa. So we give back, um, we have the Just a Draw, and I think on the next slide, I think it's in there. We do one tree planted. So for you by Unit World, if you forgo printed documents and take e docs, which everybody's pretty comfortable with nowadays, we plant a tree in your honor as well. So, and then lastly, I think I just wanted to talk about the sustainability. Um, as I mentioned, we are completely paperless on board. Uh, we have the be kind products for you to utilize, and no single use plastic straws anywhere fleet wide. We also don't have plastic water bottles on board either. So there's no, um, you know, trying to reduce our. our um, and print on the planet. So dashing through the Danube, I'm just going to quickly um, walk through the itinerary. Um, the next slide, so you'll see we start in the incredible city of Budapest. And I know several of you have been there. There's, as Sheila said, there's Buda, there's Pest. Um, absolutely spectacular city to walk around and explore. They have this huge um, market. There's a beautiful street that's all cobblestone that's lined with shops and restaurants. Uh, it's, it's all pedestrian. There's no cars. And at the end, you come to this incredible market where you can go in and get paprika and saffron. It's just and it, it's a two-level market. It's absolutely um, incredible to experience. Uh, then you have Bratislava. Um, uh, I've been I've done the sites in there, and I have to say it's absolutely one of my favorite. Um, I don't, I think we're kind of getting kind of tight on time, so we won't spend a lot of time going through each one of them individually. Um, but Melk is an incredible abbey. It's built up on the top of a cliff, and you go up there and it's breathtaking. The views that you have sweeping over, you know, the, the Danube River and, and the valley is absolutely beautiful. Uh, they have a library, an iconic library inside Melk Abbey that is uh, like one of a kind uh, for you to experience. Um, and then Passau, uh, very beautiful as, as you know, Sheila was mentioning, it's where all three rivers come together. I think I've got some slides just to show some visuals. Here's a beautiful picture of Budapest with the chain bridge you know, that connects Buda to Pest. Um, what's really nice is as soon as you arrive, there's, you know, you'll get on board the ship and we sail back and forth um, up and down. So we get these most beautiful pictures of the part of the building lit up at nighttime. And that's really how your, your cruise starts, which is fantastic. Um, included, we have uh, a tour um, in Budapest. So you'll see here we have three different included excursions in Budapest, and then we have four new time um, excursions. So I'm not going to sit there and go through each one of them. Um, we can talk about that afterwards, you know, as you're shopping and all trying on clothes. This is so exciting. I'm like, this is the best presentation ever. <laughs> and here you see another uh, a little bit of a close up just showing uh, the part of the building. Our next slide, I believe, uh, talks about uh, Bratislava and Vienna. So you'll see here we've got two included excursions in Bratislava, and then we have one new time excursion. So again, you can pick and choose. And what's really nice is that each one of you will you know, pick different things. And it's nice because everybody will come back at dinner at nighttime, and you can share all your different experiences and stories about what you did, which is really nice. Um, here's a picture of a Christmas market in Bratislava. It's all about the Christmas markets. Has anybody done Christmas markets before? 
I'm so I'm dying. I've never done it. I really want to come. I'm gonna have to somehow get on the show. I'll take the triple. I'll go in the triple one. <laughs> Squeeze me in. Um, and then uh, next you have Vienna. So you'll see here you've got two included excursions in Vienna and then two new time excursions. All the details are on our website, by the way, as well. So you can look at this at your leisure. Uh, we don't print any of this material. Um, and here's one of the iconic Christmas markets in Vienna. Right. And you've got the incredible little wine, and you know it's just absolutely breathtaking. I am so, I'm so jealous. I, I hope you guys have an amazing time. Um, and then finally in Casal, you've got one included um, and one new time. And this Ill's Winter Walk, uh, one of my colleagues at my office just came back from this itinerary, and she said this is the must do. So she says if there's one thing that you tell them they absolutely must do, it's this Ill's Winter Walk. She said it was beautiful. Um, they take them up and they've got this beautiful view of, of all of Casal, and they have fire bonfires going, and they're serving wine and all kinds of baked treats. It's apparently absolutely breathtaking. <coughs> And then uh, finally you've got Regensburg where you have one included and then two new time excursions. And that kind of wraps up the, uh, the one week, eight day itinerary. It runs Saturday to Saturday. Um, and then finally I just I have one slide just to highlight Nina World um, and you buy Nina World and of course, you know, uh, as being part of the uh, Travel Corporation family of brands. So um, on behalf of myself and Sheila and all the amazing women involved, I just want to say thank you so very much for your time and um, happy shopping. <laughs>